Hi, this is Jaden from SteamyKitchen.com. This is a first look at the Ninja Ultimate Blender. So I got this Ninja Ultimate Blender to review and it's got 2.5 horsepower, peak horsepower. It has total crushing high speed cyclonic blades. Fancy, fancy words. I'm a big, big, big fan of both Blendtec and Vitamix um, blenders. I've purchased many, many units from my family and friends, and I have one of each at the house. And so when I saw, when I opened up the Ninja Ultimate Blender, I thought, oh my gosh, this looks exactly like my Vitamix. It comes with a 72 ounce pitcher and three single serve cups, each with a lid. You can use the smaller cups for mincing or blending, uh, making single serve smoothies just for yourself, and grating nuts. Uh, I love that it has the smaller smaller option and it comes with not just the bottom blade but also um, these dual blades that kind of fit in and this helps push ingredients down and they call it their dual cyclonic action thing. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, um, I had a little trouble putting the base, uh, the pitcher on the base. It's, you know, it goes on one way only and uh, so you got to be mindful of which direction it is. And the lid is a little more difficult to take out than what I'm used to on my Vitamix and to blend tech blenders. But fine, yeah, it does come out. It fits in pretty tight. There's a little spout lid so that you can pour out the contents without having taking out the entire lid. While this isn't a full review, I'm just going to put my, blend, my Vitamix side by side next to this Ninja Ultima Blender to show you. Um, what I do love about my Vitamix is that it's super, super easy to put on the base and to open and close the lid. Um, but you know, that's just a, a, a minor detail. So for this first look, I'm just going to do a quick morning smoothie. Frozen blueberries, frozen banana, uh, a regular, regular banana, um, and coconut almond milk. And I'm adding some dried cherries into each and, uh, oh, this is the frozen banana that goes in. And just because I'm adding a handful of um, regular spinach leaves into each and uh, it adds lots of nutrients to the smoothie and I swear you can't even taste it. But this will show you how each blender kind of pulls down the ingredients. So I know I have different, you know, I didn't measure exactly and, that, and both the smoothies are going to be a little different, but you know, for our first look, you can kind of see what's going on. The colors of the smoothies are going to be a little different because I think I added a little more blueberries in one than the other, but um, same amount of time on both and you'll see that uh, both perform very, very well. Both units are quite loud, um, but you know, everything was blended smoothly. It was... It was perfect. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a full on review with a little more, ex well, a lot more exact measurements to show you side by side um, between the Vitamix and the Ninja Ultima Blender. For a price point of $2.59, I'm actually really, really impressed with the Ninja Ultima Blender. Link is below to Amazon.com.